Hello everyone, welcome to Pediatrics. Today I will discuss an important ear dysmorphism, low set ears. Now the definition of this sign is governed by demonstrating the ear placement relative to a horizontal line through the outer canthi of the eyes. Ears are considered low set when the root of the helix is below this line as you can see in the picture. Now bear in mind that hydrocephalus, macrocephaly and unusually small but normally shaped ears distort the normal relative proportions between these anatomic features resulting in low set ears. Well the purpose of clinical examination is to establish the presence of other anomalies that may facilitate in underlying diagnosis. Observe whether the ear is normal or has other anomalous feature such as helical shape. Now following are five common genetic syndromes in which low set ears are frequently encountered. Number one, Noonan syndrome. Associated features include short stature, ptosis, heart murmur, typically pulmonary stenosis, low posterior hairline and excess nuchal skin. Next is Velocardiofacial syndrome. Associated features include heart murmur, palatal incompetence or cleft palate, feeding problems, especially nasal regurgitation of milk, hypocalcemia or facial palsy. Third is smith lemley opis syndrome. Associated features include hypospadias, two or three toes syndactyly, ptosis, microcephaly and developmental concern. Number four is rubinstein tabby syndrome. Associated features include microcephaly, characteristic nasal configuration that is septum extending below the ala nasi and broad thumbs. And the last is pina shockier syndrome. It is an autosomal recessive syndrome. Associated features include joint dislocation or restricted joint movement, pulmonary hypoplasia. Now, early diagnosis is important in this case because new natal death frequently follows. Okay, thank you. Please subscribe.